in dangerously kinky news. Ooh. Submitted by Emilio Loves JK. Hi, Estevez. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Emilio Estevez. Emilio Estevez. Emilio! You don't know Emilio Estevez? That sounds familiar. He's Billy the Kid. The blonde guy? Oh, what? Yeah. The Mighty Ducks guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I waited. I waited. I totally forgot about that movie. A sadistic teen boasted after stabbing her lover during sex. Oh, Jesus. Is he alive? He's alive. He's like a oh, thank God. Then we can joke. <laughs> um, my first joke is. <laughs> Wait, the guy stabbed or the girl stabbed? The, girl the guy. Stabbed. Wait, the, the guy, guy stabbed was her? Stabbed. Oh. The girl stabbed the guy. Oh, the girl did the, the stabbing. Stabbed. Was she, I mean, from a doggy style position that's really hard to fucking stab backwards? Uh. It's gotta be like she's riding his dick and fucking. She could have done this if she was on all fours. That's true. Wait, Plus that's it, harder, says, it says during sex too. She could have been blowing him and then she just takes a blade out. <laughs> you mean like this? That's harder. That's, still, that's, that's hard. I thought the assassin move is always like the girl riding the guy, right? And then her hairpin doubles as like a needle. That's the move! Oh, yeah. Where do we see that? Like, I feel like Angelina Jolie did I that. I feel like movie. every like yeah, secret Asian right. movie, there's always a girl that's like, yeah. And then the guy's like, oh my god, do it better. And then what she's the like, fuck? do it better. Like <laughs> do it better. Yeah, do it better. How about. What was that Ben Affleck movie? How about Spooning? Nope. Which one? There's Which quite one? a few of them that he's done. Daredevil, where he was blind? Yes, no, not Daredevil. Daredevil. No, the one, the one where um, it was recently, right, where that chick was fucking oh, yeah, Neil Patrick Gone Harris. No, you Gone Girl. Yeah. Oh yeah. Tiff, you got something right, and then you said you didn't get it right. I don't know. <laughs> I was just like, no. Yeah, I watched no. Gone Girl. Yeah, Gone Girl, right, where the chick's fucking Neil Patrick Harris, and then she takes out like the the knife and like slits his throat. Oh like that, yeah, like that yeah. Where? Oh, so yeah. what, what do you think yeah. happened? Was she riding his dick? Well, I could tell she doesn't have to think. No, I mean, she yeah. knows the <laughs> like I know. Because I want to know the details. I do yeah. know. Can you say it slowly? Okay. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> no, but not sexy, just like a robot. Just <laughs> oh, no, no, slow, nice okay, and slow. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> that's what, I'm your puppet, what do you want me to do, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this. That's fast, that's fast. That's too fast, too oh, fast. Shit. Okay. Slow it down. Alright, so slow this. Oh, they're calling her a young mom. Hmm. You know what? This was. This reminded me a lot about. Like, I know you guys are gonna draw a line between this crazy ass and then me. But, okay. <laughs> what the so, fuck? I'll tell you why. Why, why, why would you so, put that in my mind? I wasn't even gonna do that, but now I have to. I know, so I did it for you. Okay, so let's so, see how this relates to Tiff. This girl, her name is Zoe. She's 19 years old. Sounds just like Tiff. Mm -hmm. She's a young mom, and that's all I know. I don't know her kids or nothing. All right, She's Mexican. So, so that's it? That's the only reason why we were gonna draw it no, to you? No. Oh, there's more. Okay. There is more. Okay. So, um, the other thing that's similar to me is so that what she did, she was trying to be kinky with her lover, Kirian, who's 18 years old. Oh, the pillow to the face, got yeah. it. Yeah, pillow to the face. What's so the she face? asked him, oh, so pillow. initially she wanted, she asked him if she can tie him down, and he said no. Smart man. And so that's when she was like, well, can I put a pillow over your face, be kinkier? And he was like, all right, I'm, I'm down for that. So she went downstairs to grab a condom, and she, when she came back up, she had duct tape and a knife. Jesus Christ. Knife. And then, so, she puts the pillow over his face, she ends up, like, running her finger down his chest as she's writing him, and she's he asking writing. him, she's asking him, like, do you love me? And he was like, what kind of question is that? That means no. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> is that sure? Sure. Well, what kind of question is that? She said him. If he didn't, if he didn't say duh, he when said, you're tied he up, he said you yes. Say, what kind of question is that? That's verbatim. Yes. What kind of question is that? And then she said. He said yes first. Okay, he does. Love Do that. you really want me? And he said yes. And then that's when she said, "Let me put the pillow on your face. Trust me." After he uh, said, she said, "Trust me," she ends up stabbing the dude five times oh in the chest. Oh my god! Oh my god! What shit. the? Oh, uh, this is attempted murder. Yeah. Yeah. And then. He, the dude says that he didn't feel the pain from the stab wounds, but he felt the bleeding because his lung oh. was punctured. Oh! oh I thought he didn't feel the pain from the puncture, but his heart and emotion <laughs> felt. <laughs> yeah. He felt it in his heart because like, oh, bleeding out. Yeah, yeah. Emotional anger. Yeah, oh, like, I can't believe my own lover. Jesus. Yeah, he does have that too. He does talk about that. Like the psychological. So there were no part. warning signs. I mean, like, you know. So after like they went to court and like they pulled up her phone and found like disturbing images on her phone like there's like this photo that apparently says something like um, murder is like chip hold on let me murder Mur I murder's like a bag of chips you can't stop after one so she killed people sounds like a Forrest Gump quote like, she's like she sadistic. killed people before no well I don't know if she has but 
they're just pretty much saying like based on the evidence that they had on her phone like she was obsessed with like murder and then so the dude ends up taking the pillow after he feels the ble the bleeding and then yeah, he, how did he wrestle he her off? Yeah. He covers his chest to soak up the blood or he put it behind his head to be more relaxed. Well, the only thing I know after that, <laughs> stupid. The only thing I know after that is that he was looking at her. She was leaning over his body, not looking at his face and just staring at the chest and that she was holding the knife. She should have been a surgeon. Like she was just like like obsessed with it. She needs to turn that energy into something positive. But she wants to murder. Yeah, she 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 wants to kill. And she should she should have joined the military. The first rule of if you want to murder, you don't do it to close people that know you. You do randos. Okay? <laughs> it's a rando. Take it from, rando. Rando. Take it from Uncle Steve. Yeah, okay. Cops <laughs> always link the familial and the friendship connections. That's why you gotta kill randos. Maybe that was her thing that got her off though, is like hurting people she loves. She's close to And maybe she wanted to do it during sex too. Yeah, there's no feelings. So her, what she was saying here was that she blacked out during the attack. She does not remember stabbing him at all. Smooth. Claiming says, insanity. She says that the reason why she attacked her was because he was trying to kiss her and she didn't want to because they're on and off boyfriend, I guess, they had sex once before. I'll fuck you, but you can't kiss me. Yeah. Something like that, and so like, she was just pretty much saying like, she freaked out and that it was an overreaction that she always keeps a knife yep. under her pillow. Uh, and when I was riding his dick, he tried to kiss me. Yeah. So I stabbed that motherfucker. If she's hot enough, I'll believe her. You know what I mean? Let's, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'll be the judge of that. By the way, she got sentenced to 11 and a half years because the judge did not believe her. He believed the victim. She's not that hot. She'll get yeah. out in a couple of years and she'll watch this video and she'll come after us. Yeah, see, there you go. Ooh, cool hair. Open and shut case. Zoe. Is her hair real? Uh, probably. Oh, yeah? She, got freckles she looks stuff. like she doesn't. Oh, wow, he's a ginger too. <laughs> she looks like she doesn't sleep much. What's wrong with this lip? Does he have a cigarette in there? Cigarette. Is he, uh, is he a limey? Is he from the UK? He looks like UK okay. peeps. He looks like, yeah. He, he's like, just Snoke and a fag eye. <laughs> like, that's how he looks right there. You just really want to use that phrase. Yeah. 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 Just smuggle a fag. Yeah, he is. They're he is, right? In the UK. <laughs> you all dress the same. <laughs> that's true. They look a certain way. Yeah. Is there Pale. a significance to the five shanks? No. Well, that's just to really show that it wasn't like an initial like ah. Yeah. It was like. Because really I thought it was like a one. Because I thought he was trying to. She was trying to play. Um, blood piano where like you go one two three four five and I can cover each hole with one of your things and you can lift it up and it's like a blood like a blood geyser <laughs> what the fuck how does your mind <laughs> go there <laughs> the, yeah, it's, the blood just squirts out you're so creative and you don't like scary movies they're scary <laughs> <laughs> well you just came up I'd be down to write one wait so okay. these thoughts come from your own mind it's not something you you like, didn't see that see? no is that in like Hellraiser 3 That's and creepy. I missed that one yeah I don't know. I didn't know you like you didn't like scary movies. I actually do like scary movies. I like being scared, but then since I'm with her, like if I'm on the fence and she doesn't want to watch it either, I'm like, okay, good, good, good. Let's go watch some fucking. <laughs> let's go watch a talking golden retriever movie. Yeah, cause I don't like slashers. Slashers are weird. Okay. Like there's, they just don't do anything. Do you like psychological horror movies though? Yes. Like The Shining. Yes. The Shining. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like the, the Shining movie. is boring, man. I can't. I love The Shining. Oh, it's so <laughs> Boring, dude. Shining, dude. Oh, no, it's because of the old school movies. It's just up. it's so slow. Yeah, but then those last like 15 minutes are fucking yeah, insane. Yeah. Four hours to get to 15 minutes. It's worth it. Worth I'm it. with oh, you. I'm with God. You. Wait, is that the like one the where the kids looking at the TV and it's a no, native that's poltergeist? No, 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 no. That's a different poltergeist. Is the fucking no? That's no, that that's, that's the Exorcist. The exorcist. <laughs> <laughs> that's Exorcist. That's the exorcist. Oh. Poltergeist. That was my shit when I was a kid. Yeah. Are you sure it was Poltergeist? Yeah, yeah, yeah cause it's the house and yeah, then with the TV, yeah, yeah, right? And then all the yeah, furniture yeah. keeps on getting yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. yeah. And then yeah. there's that fucking old lady, the warlock lady that comes in, and then she the she, she, short one, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. I swear, half yeah. of the movies, yeah, movie. half of the movies that film school kids have on their walls, they don't even like or watch. You know what I mean? But they know to have it on their wall, so everyone's like, oh, he's like, because they're an art kid. <laughs> it's like having 2001 poster. Yeah, I like, was just about to say. Fucking watch 2001, dude. Okay, 2001 is slow. Like, it's I can't, the I can't slowest. It's 2001, but it's I fucked like, with the shot. It's like watching a little kid try to learn how to do math. Odyssey 2001. It's that slow. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty slow. It's slow, man. It's I want to like, see oh. it just so I can, like, okay, I saw so it. You can see but it's pretty. Oh it's very pretty. <laughs> All right, man. What does that mean? <laughs> it's a deep it's peace dream come true. Is amazing. That's you know that's like the most shallow thing you could have said about a movie. Probably yeah. yeah. See there you go. 
How, how smart are you now? I still like it though. What's your <laughs> Do you favorite actually, movie? Huh? What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie? Oh, uh, it's so probably Saving Private Ryan actually. That's probably like way up there because it's got. Because it has her name on it. No, it's because yeah. it's got rewatchability. Like all the movies with your name in it. About me, Ryan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's pretty. Yeah, and it is pretty. <laughs> I that love the D-Day scene though. That oh was hell yeah! Guts and everything. Yeah. Oh man, that's real Intense. war, huh? That's just dope. Yeah. I like all those scenes. I want to be in one of those movies so bad. If I could pick one part for myself, other than like being a bully in the movie and going like, "Hey, out of my way, little bitch!" Yeah. <laughs> like I love that shit. But the With other the thing, on the it. other thing is like holding yeah. a, holding a guy's hand and being like, "I don't think I'll go to base." <laughs> <laughs> I want That's it so fun. bad. I love that shit. And then right. half of your body's gone and it's just guts. Uh, you don't even but have legs. You don't even have legs anymore? And then like Tom Hanks like looks down and he's like, oh, you're, no. you're gonna make it, son. <laughs> in, in like, uh, I love that shit. Can you tell my wife that I love her? <laughs> There's this letter. And then you pull out the letter. Send it to her for me. <laughs> so I wrote her this letter, and then Tom Hanks brings this letter to her, right? And and like it's supposed to be a sweet moment, and she opens it, and it's just completely covered in blood, like all blood. Everything's blood. It's all just a bloody napkin. And she's like, "Thank you, I guess." Jesus Christ. <laughs> Every fucking war movie. Every war it's movie. Like that. Damn, the best. How did, and how does that happen? Like Christopher Nolan's like one of the best directors ever, and he has that shit too. Time. Because it's a trope. What? It's a trope. Like in Dunkirk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta do they it. They have all that shit in every one of these movies. Every single war movie has a scene like Maybe they know that people want to see that shit, that's why. Right. But it's the same thing every time. Yeah. The formula works. Every time. It does, well, it maybe works. Maybe it's like part of that, like the story format and shit. Like every story has to have like the same. You mean like the hero's journey or whatever? Like they have their Maybe thing. it's like in war movies they so have they gotta to. have a dead buddy. <laughs> the dying best friend. The half body dead buddy. Yeah, the half body dead buddy. Dead. I think there's the nothing shit. that speaks to brotherhood like someone that you can clearly tell is gonna die in like the next ten seconds, and you tell them everything's gonna be okay. Yeah. Well, I just love that shit. Like, I would love to do a parody movie of that shit. Let's do it. When like the guy's eyeballs are out, you're gonna get 2020 vision. Yeah, it's like it's like he's just a fucking head, and then the rest of his body's gone. And he's like, he's like am I gonna make it? <laughs> and the guy, of course, being like. Yes, yeah. you're gonna make it. Here, blow a balloon for the one last last time. Yeah. <laughs> just a fucking just neck. That's it. And you see his like his like red fucking girdly spine. <laughs> it's like, oh Jesus. Am I gonna make it? Like a fish skeleton you found in the garbage. <laughs>